Hey, everybody. So I'm standing here um, about to upload the videos for this week. Uh, my dogs are, uh, you know, wanting to say hello as well. Hi, babes. All right, one second. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling a bit because I see, um, I've heard from a number of you that you're disappointed in your mini test three scores. And I looked into the data to try to get some some answers. And um, a few people had emailed me and said that they wish they had more time. And so um, this is something, as I mentioned in discussion board post uh, on Saturday, just under mini test general, if you want to take a peek, um, they wish they had more time. And I can relate. Um, it's definitely something that I've heard before. And what I mentioned there, so I'm just making sure that this is still recording. Um, is that in the past, uh, students who said they wanted more time had said that it was because, and I asked them, well, is that because you're looking at your material, you want more time to look it up? And they said, yes. And so I need to really reinforce something. And that is that this is not um, a test where, you know, you can look things up during the test. Like it is the expectation of this course that you know these items. Um, that said, I've heard from a few of you who said that, um, you know, you've just run out of time and you didn't press submit. Um, some people said that they did make it through part A of the last one and submitted knowing that they left marks on the table. So um, I definitely can can understand that there was likely a mix of different um, different struggles there. There were two larger questions when I looked through uh, and tried to look at some patterns so that I can share with you use some insights of something you can um, consider for next test is that um, about 20 out of the 190 of us uh, that, uh, you know, did the, the least well, didn't, um, didn't submit. Uh, so we had 20 people that didn't submit the, um, the, uh, the, basically both of the large questions. And so, uh, and then we also had 20 people that um, that did, uh, you know, on the bottom end of the distribution for the marks. So we had 20 people that didn't um, submit question, the first large question, 20 people that didn't submit the second large question, and then 20 people that didn't do um, at all, like that really did um, bring down the average and bring down, um, uh, the results. And I'm not doing this for blame or shame. I'm just bringing this out that, you know, showing up, um, like, thank you for showing up and thank you for uh, giving it your best. Cause I truly do believe that you did your best. And also um, just understanding that, um, that you need to pace yourself during the test. And part of pacing yourself is being really familiar with the material. And why I suggest and reinforce being re really familiar with the material is I know that outside of this, uh, these were weeks of uh, this week in particular, likely had, I heard um, from a number of students who had other midterms. Uh, so, you know, ask yourself, did you prepare for this test? Um, in this material, you know, did you do all the practice problems? Did you engage in the material? Uh, did you uh, seek out help when you needed to? Uh, the discussion boards have been relatively quiet lately. Um, this material has been, you know, not getting any easier. So I would really expect to see some um, some engagement on the discussion board. Um, I haven't been hearing of too many people in office hours. I haven't been hearing about too many people in the live Q&A. So again, uh, just ask yourself, did I put in the work um, that I am happy uh, with and did I get a result that I'm happy with? And if the answer is no, then consider making an adjustment along the way. My apologies. I'm just, my computer decided to just have a bit of a moment right now. I actually wonder if this is still recording, but if we post it, then I guess we will know. Um, my goodness. This is infuriating, okay. Uh, sorry, you deserve um, better than this. Okay. Um, I really do wonder what is going on. Okay. Uh, so the last thing I just want to say is that uh, when I looked at the people who got 80 or 90 or percent or above, and I looked at how much time they took, uh, some people took, uh, you know, 35, 40 minutes. 
Um, but many, many people took about half as much time, almost about 20 minutes in. And so this suggests to me that, um, you know, these people, when they did it have an answer and it was, you know, 80 to 90 to 100 percent correct. We had a few hundreds, I believe, um, or at least a few questions with hundreds. Um, these people knew their things, so they were familiar with the materials they engaged, and they, you know, didn't have outside influences such as maybe, or maybe they had planned their midterms as well. So all in all, um, listen, you get to drop one. Maybe this isn't the one you wanted to drop. Maybe you wanted to leave it to the end, or maybe you already had, uh, you know, an oopsies along the way. Uh, but as long as you're learning from this and as long as you're tweaking your process and as long as you, uh, you know, maybe use this as information on how to engage with the material, really make a plan um, in the syllabus. It really does say that this is a course that requires practice. Um, you know, nobody learns how to code, uh, you know, overnight. It really does take little bits of work uh, along the way. So thank you so much um, for listening to this video. I thank you so much for investing in yourself and for giving uh, your best effort. Our best looks different every day. And it really is about um, investing and debriefing now and then um, looking looking to kind of have that steady improvement uh, and knowledge building until your final exam. So thank you very much. And I hope you have a good week. Uh, the video will be starting now. Take care.